Hi guys, it's Ken with this week's News Refresh. We can debate our favorite truck brands, off-road chops, reliability, towing, and horsepower numbers until the end of time, but those aren't the only reasons to buy a truck. Another reason so many people like pickups is because you feel a lot safer when you're higher and heavier than all the crazy drivers on the road. In that regard, only one pickup brand can claim that crown for 2016. And there's only one way to find out who, watching slow motion crash videos. The nonprofit Insurance Institute for Highway Safety did a series of tests on 2016 full-size pickups, and only one of them came out on top. They conducted two frontal crash tests, side impact, and roof crush tests to determine the likelihood of death or serious injury in the event of a collision. Last year, IIHS discovered the Ford F-150 extended cab lacked many of the structural countermeasures that helped the crew cab earn their top safety grades. So let's see if the Blue Oval and the rest of the pickup industry were able to learn from their mistakes. So Ram, Chevy, Toyota, and Ford all earned good ratings when it came to the moderate overlap front test side test, and head restraint evaluations. So that's a great start for all of our full-size contenders. But things get a bit trickier when it comes to the roof crush test. The Ram 1500s performed the worst here with the marginal grade from IIHS. The Tundra Crew Max scored a grade above it at acceptable, and four pickups led the pack with good ratings from the organization. According to IIHS, 44% of the occupant deaths in pickups are rollovers. The small overlap was the hardest test for all the trucks. IIHS noticed consistent, moderate to severe intrusions on the driver's footwell during the test, which could trap a driver's legs and lead to serious lower leg, ankle, and foot injuries. At the bottom of the pile was Ram. Their 1500 crew cab and Ram 1500 quad cab both earned marginal ratings overall and poor ratings for structure. The maximum intrusion during the small overlap test for the Rams reached 16 to 17 inches. Larger crew cabs from Chevy and Toyota didn't fare too much better either. The Silverado 1500 crew cab and Tundra Crew Max both earned marginal ratings during this test. Their double cab variants, on the other hand, both picked up acceptable ratings in the small overlap crash tests. Ford's F-150s, including their 2016 model Super Cabs, were the only large pickups to clinch a good rating in the small overlap crash test. They clearly took last year's results to heart when IIHS gave the Super Cabs a marginal rating in the same test. Now the blue oval is the only badge that'll be seen on trucks with a top safety pick from IIHS, but what do you think about these results? Do they make you reconsider your favorite pickup or are they just a bunch of bunk? You can let us know in our poll right here. FCA defends their Rams by saying, our vehicles are designed for real world performance and no single test determines overall real world vehicle safety. The pickup crash test battle was the biggest news this week, so until next time, I'm Ken and you've just been refreshed.